In this video we are going to cut a cylinder which has got a hole through it and our first step that we're going to follow is to go into our top view and break up our circle into 12 equal parts. We will do that using construction lines and a 30 to 60 degree set square to break up our circle. Once the circle is broken up into 12 equal parts, I'm then going to label it, starting with 1 and working clockwise around the circle. Once all the parts have been labeled in the top view, I'm going to project each of those parts up into my front view as construction lines. Once I have that, I'm going to go and transfer my labeling from my top view into my front view. And I'm going to make sure that I've labeled each of my different lines. For starters, that over there, of course, is going to be line 7. So I'll label top and bottom as 7. The side, one on the side over here is going to be line 1, in line with the corner of the, or the side over there. Then if I have a look at the middle, because I'm looking at my shape from the front over there, I know that that point over there is going to be seen first. So point 10 will be seen first and then point 4. So this corner over here in line with it will be 10, 4. I say corners even though this is a cylinder. We're creating corners with these projection lines and the breakup of the 12 points. So that would be 10, 4 and 10, 4. And then over here, we're going to see 9 first and then 5 in line with these two points. So this point over there will be 9,5. And that one, the same at the top, is 9,5. On the side over here, we'll see 8 first and then 6 behind it. So this point here in line will be 8,6. And the same with the one at the top, 8,6. And then over here, this will be 11,3 and also 11,3 at the top, and then the last one, 12,2. Once you've gone and labeled each of those, you've got all of those lines labeled. Remember that we're labeling lines. We've got line 7, line 8 in the front, line 6 behind it. So that's line 1, that's line 12 in the front, line 2 sitting behind it. Once we've done that, now we can go and cut the top view. And when we cut these shapes, always cut one shape at a time. You've technically got two cylinders here. One cylinder on the outside and one cylinder on the inside. So we're going to cut the big cylinder on the outside first and go and find its cutting plane before we, we cut the one on the inside. So to start off with, we're going to go, and please don't do this when you draw, I'm just going to make these marks so that you can see my cutting points. I've got a cutting point over there. As I come down, I've got another cutting point over there. I've got another one in the center there. Another one over there. Another one at the bottom over there. Okay, so those are my cutting points for the outside circle. You'll see that I didn't mark anything on the hidden detail line over there because it doesn't belong to the outside circle. That belongs to the inside circle. Now if I take my cutting points and I project them down into my top view, that cutting point over there cuts the edge of my, of my outside circle. So I know that it's going to cut over there on the edge and then over there. These points that I've marked in the middle over here, when looked at from the top, in the top view, are just going to look like points exactly on line 9 and 5, line 10 and 4, and line 11 and 3. So they're going to be cutting points which are going to sit here, right on the very edge of our circle, our outside circle. 
And then the last one goes to the base over there. And as we project that down, okay, you see that that lines up exactly on point 2 and point 12. And that gives us all of our cutting points for our big circle, for our outside circle. And now all we're going to do is play dot to dot. Okay, I've gone from 12 to 2 and then I'm going to go around and I'm going to complete the entire cutting plane. Okay, I'm going to do the curves in freehand simply because my pencil is not going to come out well enough for you to be able to see a dot. You of course will make sure that it's dark using your compass. Okay, but just so uh, for the sake of the video, you can see there that that part of your cutting plane is going to be in dark. And then I'm going to go straight down from five to nine on my cutting plane, on my cutting points there. And then I'm going to carry on following my cutting points around. There's a dark line. Okay, so that then shows you exactly what the cutting plane is going to look like for the outside circle. And then, of course, we can see that this piece of our outside circle over here has not been cut off. So this piece, you'd use your compass to go and draw that piece in dark. And then this little piece at the bottom over here has been cut off. We can see that clearly if we just take a set square and put it on the part which we can see is going to be taken away. That part there is going to be cut off. And we can clearly see that point 1 over there, which is underneath my set square, has been chopped off. So that point 1 and everything up until the cutting plane is just going to stay in construction. Okay. Now we're going to go, now we've cut the, the one circle, we're going to go and do exactly the same thing to the second circle. So we're now going to look at just our inside circle over there, and we're going to do the same thing. There's our, our first cutting point. If we bring that down onto our inside circle, we can see that it cuts our inside circle over there, and then again it cuts our inside circle over there. Okay. So there's two cutting points there on our inside circle. And then the same thing at the bottom point over here. Oh, hold on. It doesn't even cut our inside circle there. So we can ignore that one. Uh, we can go back to the top here and have a look. There's the next point where it cuts our inside circle, which is just going to be on the edge of that circle. So two points there. And then as we come down again in the center on the edge of that circle, two points there. And then again over here on the edge of the circle, which will be there and there. And now and then it cuts right on the very, very edge of the circle again over there. Okay, so for our cutting plane here, we can quite clearly see exactly what that's going to look like. You've got a, a line going through there, and then you're going to join all of these up with your compass nice and dark because you'll be able to see all of that but now here's the trick we've now cut the outside cylinder on its own we've cut the inside cylinder on its own but what about the fact that this inside cylinder is actually a hole so what we do is is we simply remove any of the inside lines okay because if we have a look here, you can see that our cutting line comes through over here. And this is part, this is all a hole. All of that's a hole over there. So if that's all a hole and we've cut right through it, then we're not actually going to see that line at all. That line's got to come out. Okay, because there's a hole going straight through the shape at the moment. So you're not actually going to see a hole there. So we're going to leave out that line, okay? but then this line over here will still remain in dark. Because of course it has not been cut off. So our section lines for that top view will look like this. Okay, if we put them in at a 45 degree angle. Okay. 
we're not going to put any lines into this part there because of course that hasn't been cut at all but we will over here because that's where the cutting of that starts and we have to complete this hatching try and make sure that you are able to do that quite quickly as you don't want to spend half of your time simply hatching while you complete the question we do however try need to try and get it as neat as you possibly can so you don't lose any sort of marks for unneat hatching okay so there we go without that line over there that is what our sectional top view for this would look like now we're going to go on to the sectional left view okay but we will have a look at that sectional left view in a second video